I often wonder. I wonder how it feels to be the barrel, grinning in the face of a man, making him tremble and wish his last breath lasted like his mother's favorite song. I wonder how it feels to be the bullet resting in a chamber, knowing there's no one or anything in God's creation that can threaten me physically. Would I be the genie to the coward who brings a trigger to your driver's side window? Knowing my cold still can move your soul, still like water, stealing existence from the present as a lesson to the future where your name is a hashtag and that's all that's left of you. I wonder does it feel, I wonder if it literally feels like power. I wonder does water feel the split when my flesh dives into its wet body? I wonder, does it feel the same as a man's flesh when a bullet dives and swims through his chest? I wonder, does being red, blue, or white feel liberating or just fraudulent? I wonder how it feels to have privilege, learn so well that I don't have to acknowledge it. I don't have to acknowledge it to use it, and the unprivileged would like to show me what it is. And when they do, I still get the privilege to not have to recognize it. March and beg my conscience what justice looks like, but my white collar ghettos condition me. Jesus and justice are white. I wonder, but I never hope to be confused. I only know how it feels to be black. I know how it feels to share sonar with the brother and stranger 20 feet away. A head nod says these words, I see you, I respect you, and I got you in case anything pops off. I know how it feels to have integrity, to repent, to succeed, to be a son. Oh, a black son to the sunshine. My mother, Virgin Mary, still clenches me from a world who can't wait to yell crucify him. To men with open arms for black little kids, closed fists for young black men who are role models for those black little kids. Pastors be the biggest hypocrites sometimes, choosing what color sin is. I know how it feels to not want to intimidate or be that type of black guy when my hood is up but it gets real chilly trying to keep my hood down so i'd rather not be a token because these suburb kids don't care what type of black you are to drop their microaggressions space away from the inner city teaches them hierarchy lessons bigger than our educational gap i got rhythm like good rhythm multicultural parties copy my moves to the beat yet those same people hold up the wall when black people get beat to stereotypes knowing that some type of people won't change but i still Still might have time today if you get ignorant in my comment section. I know how it feels to be a hypocrite. I know how it feels to vote for a president and still know it won't make a difference. When those headlines hit a little bit too close to home, I know how it feels when those headlines sound like it could have been me. And no gun seems to have enough power to keep me from believing that it can't be. And even then, I don't wish to be anything but black. The days I'm most exhausted are the days I see myself in black men I've never met. Myself dying over and over in a twisted story where skin color is fraud for worth and death sentence. I don't know how it feels to be the gun, the bullet, water, or any American color, red, blue, white. I only know how it feels to be Ahmaud Aubrey. And before Ahmad, I only knew how it felt to be Mike Brown. And before Mike, I only knew how it felt to be Trayvon Martin. And so on the day Botham Jean was murdered, I wondered how it felt to be the bullet because on that day, being a black man felt too much like being torn paper for burn. And on that day, I wondered how it felt to be the gun. I figured it had to feel better than law-abiding black man whose home didn't protect him from white terrorism and bad media. But also on that day, I figured it had to feel better being black than perpetuating lies for truth, fear for the illusion of power, and hatred for justice. I bet the gun felt the real power on that day that so many people were thirsty to feel. Dehumanization sucks its fools faster than its victims. Why be so confused that someone else's life is less than yours?
So don't approach me with this my fellow American talk. Don't act like diplomacy fought for my freedom. My people fought for my freedom. And my grandpa worked to show me what a man should do to uphold a country, working to make his children feel comfortable at home in a world full of warfare, with ample evidence, thinking everyone is guilty until proven not racist. That's just how it is, being black sometimes. And throughout this time, there's one thing I don't wonder. Throughout all the lies and great things and sad things, I'd still rather be black. And I'm still not confused on whom I should fear and be afraid. Not one day in my life do I mix my fear for Jesus and man. And throughout all my wondering, and I'm still not confused on the truth of it all, God reassures me that it's not me, but you who swear that you've heard it all. As anybody in this building tonight, and sometimes I begin to doubt whether I'm going to make it through. I must confess I'm tired. <laughs>